Hello, I'm Derek Duncan, architecture editor at Golf Digest, with another extensive look at a single golf hole, this time the 18th at Valhalla Golf Club in Louisville, Kentucky. The 18th hole at Valhalla, designed by Jack Nicholas and opened in 1986, is a 570-yard par 5 that's easily reachable in two shots by elite players, and one we study closely because it's an entertaining dynamic hole, but also because of its placement in the routing. It's important to keep in mind that situation and circumstance can play a major role in how we perceive a particular design. It begins in the southernmost corner of the property with a downhill drive off a ridge toward a fairway bracketed on the left by a long bunker that begins 325 yards from the new tournament tees and a terraced water feature on the right, 315 yards out. The second shot presents choices. After long drives, those with the firepower to get home in two will have around 210 to 250 yards uphill to a boomerang-shaped green wrapped around a deep fronting bunker. This small pot bunker, added in 2007, is positioned to catch bailouts. Those who want to lay up have two options, play conservatively straight up the fairway or fire some 140 to 200 yards across the water feature toward a separate arm of fairway on the right. The decision of which fairway to play to should be based on where the hole is located on a large green with three exaggerated levels a raised central trapezoidal plateau about 55 feet from back to front, a lower section rolled off steeply to the left and level with the fairway, and a lower right section that falls away on the opposite side in similar manner. In the early days, the shape of this screen was sometimes ridiculed. Players called it the toilet seat, but it does impact strategy. If the pin is here on the lower left section, you're better off to lay up on the left fairway and come in straight into the axis of the green this way. This slope of the upper level will help backstop balls that go too far and can even work balls back to a lower hole location. The same is very much true if the pin is over on the right side of the green. Players can lay up on the right side and come in with their third shot straight into the axis of the green this way, using this backstop to feed balls to the hole, keep balls on the green. Now, if the pin is on the central plateau where it is on Sundays and many other days, the world is your oyster. You can lay up to the left, you can lay up to the right, you can try to play to this front bunker, but the only way to hold the ball on the screen is to hit something high and soft that spins. If something comes in a little too hot, lands, doesn't check, the ball will roll down to the, one of the lower sections, leaving a long uphill putt that's going to break several feet. The putt here will go up this way and come back to the pin that way. If played smartly and if you're a good lag putter, a five is not a difficult score to make. The hole becomes far more elusive when players are pressed into making a birdie or an eagle, a common theme when high-stakes tournaments come to Valhalla, which they often do. Currently ranked 87th on America's 100 Greatest Courses, Valhalla was just 10 years old when it held the 1996 PGA Championship, making it one of the youngest courses to host a major in the contemporary era, which we can loosely define as 1960 and after. Since then, it's matured into one of the game's most active and accomplished major championship arenas hosting three more PGAs in 2000, 2014, and 2024, as well as two senior PGA championships and a Ryder Cup. No course has hosted a men's major with more regularity than Valhalla has between 1996 and 2024. That's four times in 28 years. That track record puts Valhalla in rarefied air. So does its track record of producing buzzer beater endings, which is part of what made the course so attractive to the PGA of America for return visits. Of the five majors held at Valhalla, including the senior PGA championships, three have ended in sudden death playoffs on the 18th green. The other two were decided at the 18th by a single stroke. But we do have to acknowledge that for many years, the PGA of America continued to schedule Valhalla because it owned the course. The organization purchased a stake in the club in the early 1990s and assumed full control after the 2000 PGA. It continued to preside over the course until 2022 when it sold it to a small group of members. The club was originally founded by local businessman Dwight Game, who purchased the 430 acres of bucolic land Valhalla sits on east of Louisville in the late 1950s as an investment, anticipating he'd sell or develop the land once the city expanded into the exurbs. There were also stables and an old farmhouse at the property's highest point, where the clubhouse now stands, on a section used for training quarter horses. When they were young, Game's three sons would come out to the country property and ride the horses but they stayed away from the high corner that would become the 18th tee because the horses were inclined to gallop dangerously off the incline, 80 feet almost straight downhill, 
which gives you an idea of how elevated the tee is. In the early 1980s, Game decided that golf would be the best use for the land and set his sights on building a course capable of hosting a national tournament, specifically the PGA. In Game's mind, the only architect with the credibility to make that happen was Jack Nicklaus, a five-time winner of the PGA. After carefully studying the land and soils, Nicholas agreed the site had potential. Knowing the goal was to host major events, Nicholas and Game wanted the course to finish with a par five so tournaments might end on a birdie or even an eagle. It's common for courses to conclude with a par five. It's strangely uncommon for major championships to end on one. Only four other courses that might be considered part of the regular US Open, PGA Championship, or Open Championship rotation end in a par five. Pebble Beach, Baltus Rolls Lower Course, Torrey Pine South, and Royal Liverpool. I'd also argue that none of these holes have consistently produced the same kind of edge of your seat climaxes that Valhalla's 18th has, which is effectively a par four and a half, playing to a stroke average around 4.5. The clubhouse location was set near the arena and stables at the center of the property. Given the other restrictions, like the floodplain, overhead power lines strung between number one and number seven, and the natural wooded corridors of the second nine that already looked like golf holes, it made sense to route the 18th from the ridge, through a pasture below along an old farm road where cattle and even some bulls grazed, toward a finish at the foot of the farmhouse in a grassy amphitheater that could seat large galleries. What happens leading up to the final hole certainly sets the stage for the late game drama that routinely happens at the 18th. But endings wouldn't have the same seesaw potential if the hole was a par four. In the original concept for the hole, the green was shifted left of where it currently is. There was no bunker guard in the front, and there was no alternate fairway to the right. There was a surface outcropping of limestone in a horizontal layer slightly exposed on the right side of the proposed fairway. Limestone is ubiquitous in this section of the state and is perfect for filtering the pure groundwater that's the backbone of Kentucky bourbon, but it's an inconvenience when trying to build a golf course on it. Rather than remove the limestone, Nicholas chose to use it as the foundation for an attractive water hazard. You can see on this early sketch of the hole his note indicating the possible waterfall feature. Extra limestone from other parts of the property was hauled to the 18th to construct a series of rock-lined pools that cascaded down the slope of the hole. Philip Game, Dwight's middle son, began calling it the Grotto. After the Grotto was built, and it was rebuilt again in 2023, the design of the 18th evolved. Nicholas seized on the opportunity to modify the green and to tie it into one of his favorite features, a split fairway on the opposite side of the water. Split fairways were nothing new for Nicholas. He was an early practitioner of holes that forced golfers to make defined choices. Alternative fairways are only effective if both routes offer temptation. As illustrated before, playing to the alternate fairway at Valhalla's 18th is a smart tactic if the hole is on the right, as it is in regular rotation for member play. But in the 2014 PGA Championship, the right side of the green was never used, and consequently very few players try to utilize that side of the hole. Take away the right fairway at the 18th, and you're left with a highly reachable par five that's otherwise fairly conventional and less interesting. As we mentioned, the PGA of America sold its stake in Valhalla in 2022, and it remains to be seen if the course figures into their future plans. It's possible it won't. The PGA has a new home field, the Fields Ranch East course at PGA Frisco outside Dallas, a 2023 Gail Hansen Jim Wagner design that's already been booked for the 2027 and 2034 PGA championships. The final hole on that course, a long reachable par five over a hazard.